What if you want to cite a doctoral dissertation or a master thesis, which is at a library somewhere? This is very common. You can do this. Now, of course, probably your professor will not encourage you to do this. You won't want to do this too much, but it is something you could do. So how would you cite that? Well, it's not that different. Here we have the author, the last name, and then the first name, the middle name. We have the year of the dissertation. We have the title of the dissertation here. And then we go ahead and we use parentheses and say doctoral dissertation or master thesis. And then we have a period because that's basically the end. But then we add the bit of the URL saying where did we get it from? The name of the database. Now usually these will not have a URL, will they? Because Usually the thesis is inside or dissertation is inside of a library and you cannot access it unless you're a member of the library or a member of another library that has access to that library. But in any case, you can list the name of the database or the library and the number. Usually they will have a number to access inside the library. Here's another example of an unpublished dissertation or thesis. So we have the author and then the first name, uh, middle name, the date. Here is the title of the dissertation or thesis. And here we actually say unpublished doctoral dissertation or master thesis. And then we have the name of the school and the location. So a little bit different, but basically the same. And here's another example. Let me clear this so we can see it clearly. There we go. So we have the last name, first name, middle name, and here is the name of the dissertation. And then we go ahead our thesis, and here we say master thesis. And this I got on ProQuest Dissertations Database. It's actually called ProQuest Dissertations and Theses Database. And here is the access number for that. That database has its own numbering system, so very helpful. Here's another example. Adams, R.J., 1973, Building a Foundation for Evaluation of Instructions in Higher Education and Continuing Education. This is a doctoral dissertation, and it is retrieved from this link here. That's a little bit unusual that it would be on an open internet link, and it's not inside of a regular database. So that's kind of the difference between published and unpublished, is that sometimes it's just sitting in a library or it's just online somewhere, but at other times it's inside a formal database, meaning it's published. That doesn't mean it's published like published in a journal, but it's inside a database published from a library that submitted it up. Usually if you're at a regular school, that would happen and it would be then accessible to other researchers, which is a really great thing. Here we have another example, and we have the last name, first name, then we have the year, and then we have the name of the doctoral thesis, and then here we say doctoral thesis, and here we have the school it's from, Royal Institute of Technology, Stockholm, Sweden, and here is where it was retrieved from, so the URL, and then inside the URL is an actual number, which is for the database to look up that specific thesis.